Hello guys and welcome to the very first IC Shades course. In this one we will learn how to make a 2D arena game. So what do we need in order to make that happen? We will need an engine and that is Unity, the glue that holds everything together. We will need a place where we write our code and that is Microsoft Visual Studio. And we will need assets and for that we will use 3D Paint for drawings, uh, Fruity Loop Studio for music and Audacity for sound effects. The course will be divided into lectures and uh, the lectures will be divided into segments because I want you guys uh, to focus on only one task per segment. I don't want you to be bombarded with a lot of information because Unity is a very vast program and you can easily get lost in the menus, in the functions, then you have the code, where to write, how to do it, what to choose, etc. Remember, one task, one segment. Another thing that I want you to have in mind is that you have to repeat every task several times in order for you to master it. I don't want you to just uh, follow me, do as I do, make the same game and be done with it. I want you to maybe watch the videos again, go through the process again, and then you will be able not only to implement it in, a, in this type of game, a 2D arena game, but you will also be able to implement it in another type of game. And that, I suppose, it is the purpose. So enough chit chat, let's dive into it and install the programs. Okay, so let's install Unity. Click on your browser and in your search engine, write Unity download, come on, Unity download. Click on your first link if the first link is Unity 3D download. Click on choose your Uni Unity Plus download. Click on individual and click on compare plans. We have a couple of plans here regarding your, your Unity license. We have personal plus, Pro and Enterprise, each one including some more features to it than the previous one. I think what you are interested in is the money. So if you get the personal one, you are eligible if revenue or funding is less than 100k per uh, 12 months. If you want to uh, up that and uh, to go to 200k, then you have to get the plus one and the plus one is 399 per year per seat. That means if you have um, more people working on your project, then each one will have to pay 399. And uh, if you want to go even further, that means further than uh, 200k, then you um, must get the pro or, or the enterprise one. The pro is uh, 18. Uh, 100 per seat per year and the enterprise is 200 per seat but this one is per month so of course we will get the personal free one get started and we'll click on start here we will agree and download and this will start to down download the unity hub setup the unity hub is only a platform where we will uh, choose and download our uh, versions of unity after the installation, we will open the file and this will um, start the, inst the Unity Hub installation. Okay, we will agree. We will install in a destination folder. We can minimize this one because we won't need it. And we will wait until the installation is complete. We will run Unity Hub. We will allow. So if this is your first time installing Unity Hub on your PC, I think uh, you will have a pop-up with an Unity version installation. And if you want to follow my steps, you can click skip in the bottom left or you can install it just uh, like that. So here in Unity Hub, we have projects. Uh, here you will see all the projects, all the games you are working at. You have Learn, where you have tutorials. You have Community, where you have the Unity Community. And the Unity Community is one of the thing, thing that uh, makes Unity so great because uh, if you want to add something to your game, uh, you can watch YouTube videos, you can ask the community, and if someone has already done that, that then uh, it will be uh, easy to implement in your games. 
and of course you have the installs we will click add here and here you will see some unity versions uh, <clears throat> the recommended release in, is uh, 2019 which we will use LTS stands for long-term support uh, you also have the 2020 the 2020 again the 2018 and a pre-release the 2021 you can also install if you want the 2020 but uh, I don't want you to install the 2018 because we will uh, use the new input system from Unity and the new input system is uh, um, is implemented from 2019 and above and I don't want you to install the 2021 but because this is a beta one and if you see a beta or an alpha one uh, it is not recommended uh, you install it because uh, uh, of course it doesn't have support uh, maybe it has bugs and uh, it's in development so we will choose 2019 we will click next we will let Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019 check because this is, if you remember from uh, earlier, this is uh, the place where we write our code. Um, we can let WebGL build support checked and the documentation, I want you to uh, let it check because this is very important, the documentation. If you want support for other devices, iOS, tvOS, uh, etc., you can uh, feel free and uh, click on those two. We will now click next. We will agree. I have agreed. I have read and agreed. We will click done. Um, and Unity will start to install. And I will see you after the installation. Okay, so Unity is installed. And we also have Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition installed. And I want us to check one thing. Click here on Windows and uh, write installer. And uh, click on Visual Studio Installer this as the unity hub um, is a platform where we can check our uh, visual studio um, versions and we have here visual studio community 2019 click on modify getting things ready and i want you to check two things i want you to you to check if desktop development with c is checked and game development with unity is also checked if they are not checked then check them and install them because we will need them later when we write our code you will see then uh, what i'm talking about so close this if that it's done if that is done close this as well go into projects and click on new as we have a 2d game we will check the 2D, this is not very important because you can uh, switch it in the project as well. The project name, uh, it will be 2D Arena Game or whatever you want to call it. And the location is on the desktop Unity. I don't have um, in this uh, moment uh, folder that is named Unity on my desktop and uh, it will automatically create that. So click create and now wait for the project to be created and I will see you after that and our unity project is created if you can see here in the top left we have our name to the arena game and if uh, the layout is not as you see on my screen click on default top right and click default and this will um, make uh, the layout as you can see on my uh, my desktop also uh, you can see on my desktop that the unity uh, folder was created at the end of each lecture i will give you some questions just to revisit the stuff we just went through in the lecture so how much can your revenue or funding be with a free personal unity license 100 200 400 or 500 k dollars a couple of seconds for you to answer and if you have chosen 100k dollars, that is correct. If you have a free personal unity license, you can go up to 100k. If you want more than that, then you will have to choose plus for up to 200. And if you are, if you want more than that, you will have to choose the pro or the enterprise license. What unity versions we won't use? Multiple answers. Think about the why. Unity 2018 with long-term support, Unity 2019 with long-term support, Unity 2020 or Unity 2021 that is in beta. Couple of seconds again. 
if you have chosen unity 2018 that is correct because we won't have the new input support and if you also have chosen unity 2021 uh, that is also correct because it may have bugs and it is in development if you answered correct uh, the question then good job if not it's uh, no biggie we are just uh, learning about this stuff so that wraps up the first lecture of the 2D Arena game. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, and until next time, stay frosty and extra spicy.